All right, guys, thanks for joining me today. A um, lot of questioning about the Easy Trail 1020. So we've ran a, a few thousand bushel through her now, a um, couple hundred acres of beans and started on a few acres of corn. Uh, people wondering, you know, how do you like it? Is it doing what is good? Is there problems with it? So far, it's been fantastic. The scale, it's a Waytronic scale, has been tremendously accurate and very helpful. I would not buy a grain cart without it. I didn't realize how good it would be or how handy it would be, but we're finding more uses for the cart all the time. And so, like unloading here at the farm, we get trucks in to load out of the bin, where, and that's kind of a slow deal where now we can get 53,000 into the cart and park the cart by the driveway, the truck pulls in and the truck pulls out. I mean, it's five to six minutes and you've got the truckload of beans on the road and away he goes. Um, so it kind of helps us out, you know, cause we don't have to babysit the bin or be here when the trucker gets here. He can simply start the PTO and then he moves his truck accordingly. So that works fantastic. Uh, and the scale, it's helped customers keep track of field stuff, you know, because not everybody trusts yield maps, or, but it helps also verify the yield maps. Um, and then out in the field, loading out in the field for trucks. And so the scale is just one of them things that once you have it, you're never going to go without. The tarp, uh, the tarp I really love. It does a fantastic job of sealing. They've got a lip underneath the tarp so water can't go under the tarp into the cart. Uh, the corners. They're just a little tiny trickle. We had some driving rain one night and a little tiny dampness in three of the corners. Other than that, the tarp works fantastic. Love it. Would not buy a cart without that tarp. That has saved our butt a couple times this year when we got we combined right up until the rain and then rolled the tarp over and, and ran home. Um, so the tarp has worked great. The cart for service. Um, there's only a few greasable points, but the points that they have that are greasable are very important to be greased, and I like that. Um, getting inside to clean out. The clean out is just a simple handle here. You just roll the handle open, and it opens this door here, and then the what's left falls out. And then I usually climb inside, and inside this slope, they've got steps down that slope to get on top of the grate. The grate can lift up if you need to, but most of the time you can sneak your hands through the cage and, and get everything cleaned out. Um, in 30% moisture corn with the brand new sticky paint on there, um, it hasn't polished up yet. It leaves a little bit in the corners, but it ain't too bad. Um, I think there was like a thousand pounds stuck in there last night. Um, but yeah, with that door open, it changed from corn to beans roll the door open crawl underneath and sweep what you can sweep and then crawl up inside kick a couple corners out and you're ready to go maybe a bushel or two um, is wasted the lights you got warning lights they work fantastic the 900 tires they work fantastic um, the, the the balance of the machine works nice it travels through the field tremendously soft and well stable and stuff like that um, on the tractor, that big auger in 30% corn, I can open that gate all the way and that auger does not take a tremendous amount of power. I can run at 700 PTO RPM and not worry about snubbing that engine down. Um, the only complaint, the only complaint if Easy Trail is watching is this cylinder. The cylinder, this is a two and a half inch, I believe. We're gonna put a three and a half inch on there. Um, the two and a half, when it moves it, it moves it kind of fast for us, faster than I would like to see. And then at this point of being folded out, the cylinder is very parallel to the auger, so it has a hard time. And so right now, once in a while, we either have to back up and bump the brake or bump the PTO to get this auger to, to fold over. Um, other than that, that's my only complaint. <sighs> we looked at... Uh, Kinsey they're just insane on price that, that we got a price they you know they gave us the MSRP for starters and without even trying to haggle with them it was like no you're so far out of reality it's not even funny um, I mean when you're looking at a $29,000 cart from one company 
you, you can't try and tell me how your $55,000 cart is so much better. It's a box on two wheels with an auger. That's it. Um, this one has bigger spindles than the Kinsey, and so and and just a tremendously massive frame down there. Um, there there is no selling point that you could give me that would justify you know almost thirty thousand, almost double the price, and so the, you're ridiculous. Uh, Brandt Brandt makes an absolutely gorgeous grain cart. I like Brandt products for moving grain. I will. Any auger on this farm will probably be a Brandt if I can afford them. Uh, but there, there's again, it wasn't that ridiculous. I mean, the Kinsey price that we were told on the cart, we, we can classify that as asinine. Um, the, the price on the Brandt wasn't too terrible. It was in line with J&M and Brent and them other top, top of the line models. Um, and so, the, but still the prices were just out of reach. So then we started dialing down to like, okay, we're gonna need a 650 or a 750 cart because that's all we can afford. And then somehow I found an ad for Easy Trail in a magazine with their price and I'm thinking, hey, for the same price as the competition 650 and 750, I can have a thousand bushel. And it, it has been fantastic. I, I love the cart. I do not regret it one bit. I would recommend it 100% to anybody who has to balance a checkbook but needs a cart. Um, and so I, I don't know what more to say. It's easy service, easy maintenance, simple to operate, it works good. In dry soybeans, we can fill a truck in five minutes. Um, if, I wound the, if I ran the thing at PTO speed, it'd probably be quicker. Um, yeah, it, it's just a great cart, works well. I have no worry about it being weak or light or anything like that and so guys if you're, if you're looking at one got any questions shoot me your question uh, otherwise thanks for watching hope this helps somebody have a good day guys